This is a salt water battery. Um, basically what it is, is we have all these glasses filled with salt water. Uh, just common everyday table salt mixed with tap water. Uh, each one is connected by a wire. Let me get this out here. Uh, this wire is, one side of it is a copper nail and the other side is a galvanized nail, meaning it's covered with zinc and the copper wire between them. So basically what happens is um, copper and zinc actually react to each other. Um, they're very similar metals but they're not the same so electrons uh, flow between them. If you were to actually touch zinc and copper together they do create energy but it's in the form of thermal energy so you never get any electricity out of it and obviously it would be such a nominal amount you'd never actually burn yourself on the connection. So when you actually stick it in salt water um, the salt water actually allows it to become what they call a salt bridge and what that means is um, for every I don't know if you can see that well but there's a copper and a zinc nail in every single one of these uh, glasses electrons are flowing between the copper and zinc nails and then being transmitted down the wire to the next one and the same process is happening again and again and again um, creating more energy with each um, with each uh, cell, I guess you'd call it. Um, I didn't. I don't have a, a light that um, is actually low enough voltage that it would actually light up uh, because this is actually producing a very small amount of electricity. You can see there on the display it says only 0.1. Uh, that's actually because it's not on right now. Uh, that just seems to be some sort of uh, margin of error or, uh, or something with the actual tool itself. So I've wired this up to a switch, so when I pull the switch, it will actually um, complete the circuit and start creating electricity. So I'll pull it, and there we go. And as you see, I, for some reason it always starts very high and then begins to degrade after that. I'm not sure if that's how accurate this is, but it certainly is producing some quantity of electricity. And again, um, nor if I had att attached these two points to a light bulb of sufficient um, wattage or an electric motor or something that could run off what appears to be about 1.1 volts and dropping of electricity, uh, then it would be able to power it. So there you go.